morning friends, Kay Roller here. Are you still trying to figure out your new normal? Or are you just simply tired of that phrase? It seems like once we figure out a, a routine, things change. I know right now everyone's in a lot of pain and we are trying to struggling to figure out how do we respond? How do we live into our faith? How can we be present for others? How can we serve? And how can we continue to grow our faith in these times when we are unable to go to church and be in our community like we are used to? So I just want to give you some food for thought. I cannot even partially begin to answer all those questions today. But I think about what we do in the atrium, and that helps ground me. Because in the atrium, we're working with our youngest kids, and we work on growing our faith. Um, with the youngest, youngest kids, we have three, four, and five-year-olds, and we ground them in the love of the Good Shepherd to learn how Jesus loves his sheep. And we think about that, how he knows them, how he calls them by name, how they hear his voice and they follow. As our kids grow older in levels two and three, first grade through sixth grade, we give them another image of Jesus as the true vine. So today I just want to share that scripture with you, the parable of the true vine, and let us think about what this parable can share with us today. So we're reading from John 15, verses 1 through 8. Let's listen to the word of God and become like children. Hear what your heart is speaking to you today. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I am them bear much fruit because apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. So in the atrium, we have a plant that looks much like this, and we think about the characteristics of the vine and how it is different than a tree. It can grow anywhere. And we contemplate where the vine, Jesus' true vine, begins and ends and where the branches begin. It's not so easy to see, is it? They're really interconnected. We also think about how a vine grows. It needs sunlight and nutrients from the soil and water to grow. And that if you look inside the branch and break off a branch, there's a fluid that comes out, a little gel-like substance, and that is the sap. And we think about the sap is the life-sustaining, life-giving blood of the vine. We know that Jesus told parables to help us think more about things that we can't see through things we can see. So we continue to think about that. We think about what it means to be true. Jesus said, I am the true vine, the honest, the real, the true vine and what it means to abide. Some scripture verses say remain. It means to stay close. And how do we stay close to others? We spend time with them. We keep them near. 
we are attentive, we listen. So how can we too stay on the vine, stay close to Jesus? We see that it's all interconnected, the vine, the branches, the vine dresser. So a lot to think about. We also lastly hear about the fruit and that if you remain on the vine, you can bear much fruit. And what could that fruit be? Well, we know we hear about from Paul in Galatians 5 verses 22 through 23, we hear about the fruits of the Spirit. And we know them to be love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, self-control, faithfulness, and gentleness. And we think about how we can remain on the vine and nurture and promote these fruits of the Spirit in us. So I wanted to share with you briefly today a picture one of our third grade boys drew last year in the Level 3 atrium. You can see the many fruits on the vine that he envisioned for his true vine. Now in atrium, we ask big questions and we continue to ask these questions throughout our entire lives. In level one, we think about who are you God and how much do you love us? We think about our relationship with Jesus and the love he shows us. And that begins to help us think about the bigger questions we ask with our older kids. Who am I and what is my role in this world? How am I called to live in God's world and live in the history of salvation? So these are things that we continue to think about, but we know that there are certain things that we can practice, ways we can practice our faith during this time. And I encourage you to think about, what we talk about spiritual practices or disciplines. And these are things, they are actions that we can do their habits of devotion that draw us nearer to Christ, draw us closer to God, and help us remain on the vine. We can do these by ourselves or in community, and they can be community building. They may be things like special types of prayer, centering prayer, walking the labyrinth. And these are things we do routinely, day in, day out, reading the Bible, um, reading the Bible in special ways using Lecto Divina, or re reflective ways of reading scripture. We know that not only do we get fed and be able to rest and be in comfort by, through these spiritual practices, but they also call us to serve others, call us to act, act with compassion and engage with others and show Jesus' love as he has taught us to do. So that may be involving giving to the blessing box or helping provide food for our summer learning program this summer. There's so many great ways that Community Ministries offers us ways to engage with spiritual practices or disciplines. And these are also things that we can teach our children. Um, daily devotionals meant for children or finding a time during the day, maybe the morning or at bedtime, to read um, Bible stories. We have our at-home vacation Bible school we're doing this week where you can hear scriptures and listen to stories. Our, our preachers are coming to you on video. So I invite you to wonder with your children. Ask them where they experience God today and share your experiences of how you see God in the world today. So with that, Let's think about God's words, how we can live into what Jesus shares with us. I am the vine, you are the branches. Abide in me as I abide in you. Take care.